Hello Team 5. One of the things that we want to talk about today, that we want to learn about today, is a common tool to use for measuring angles. We want to talk about an angle ruler. An angle ruler has two arms linked by a rivet. The rivet allows the arms to spread apart to form angles of various sizes. One arm is marked with a circular ruler showing degree measures from 0 to 360. And you can see that here is the, this is an angle ruler that isn't together yet, it is apart. You have two arms. You have one arm that has the inches and the centimeters. This is a measuring arm. I call it the measurement arm. This arm has just a center line. They both have a center line. And this arm also includes, so you can see where the zero is on the, on the center line. For our purposes, we are going to use a tack With our as our center as our angle ruler. Now it's together. You can see there are two arms. They both have a center line on them. This is the one with the measurements. The bottom one is the one with the measurements. The top one just has the center line. And then you can see the measurements all the way around here. You can see this center line is on zero. And the top one is where we're going to actually find out how big our measure is. I'd like to start with a fairly simple measurement that we all know. We all know 90 degree angle. So you're going to take your angle ruler, you're going to put your tack in the vertex of the angle ruler, and you're going to put that tack at the vertex. So you can see that through the center, the center line, you can see that through the angle ruler. You're going to put the initial side at zero, the center line is at zero. The other line needs to go at the second ray of the angle. Here's our center line and it's at the second ray of the angle. So we start at zero. If you read around the degree of measures, you can see that it, it goes to a 90 degree angle. So this angle that we just measured, it measures at a 90 degree angle. One of the other important things you need to know is that you need to place the angle ruler so that you can read it and it says angle ruler right here. You need to be able to read that. You need to be able to read inches, centimeter, and then you know you've, you've placed it the, right, the correct way. Let's try one more of those. A very common angle, which is a 45 degree angle. You want to take your angle ruler and place your tack where the vertex is of that angle. You can see underneath, we want to match up the ray with the center line of the angle ruler. Put that on zero. And then the other ray needs to be matched up with the center line of the other part of the angle ruler. And if you read that, this one's at zero, the center line, and this one is at 45 degrees. That's the, the measurement of this angle right here. 45 degree angles and you just measured it with your angle ruler. I'd like to give you a few tips on how to measure with an angle ruler. To measure an angle, an angle with an angle ruler, first of all you need to place the rivet over the vertex. And again, for our purposes we're going to use a tack where the vertex is. So you're going to put the tip of the tack where the vertex is of your angle. Set the center line of the arm marked as a ruler on the first side. So you're going to use this first arm. It has a ruler on it. That is the first side of the angle. Swing the other arm counterclockwise until its center line lies on the second side of the angle. So this line needs to lie, lie on that second side of the angle. Read the angle measure on the circle ruler. So you're gonna look at the circle ruler and that's where you're gonna see the degree of measurement for the angles that you're measuring. And that's how you use an angle ruler. I'd like to have you practice a little bit. with some angles. You have a sheet with you and I'd like you to measure it with me as I measure. Again, we're going to put the tack on the vertex of our angle. 
our initial side, our center line of the, the arm that measures, you want to put that on zero. And then the other arm, you want to go counterclockwise until it meets the other ray of your angle. So this degree of measure angle would be, here's your zero on your first center line, and here it is on your second center line, and it's about 50 degrees. That's how you measure with an angle ruler. Did you get 50? All right, let's try one more. Let's try number two that you have in front of you. And I'd like you to practice with me. Put your tack on your vertex. Remember the first side goes on the center line of the arm that measures, that has the measurement on it. The second part goes on counterclockwise around until it comes to the other part, the other center line and the other ray. And as you can see here, if you see this little red arrow, it's showing you how the measurement goes. It goes from this arm over to this arm. So this would need to be where your zero is. That would need to be your initial side of the angle and then you would measure this direction. So if we look over here at the degree of measures, we see it's about, about 90 degrees. It's a little Maybe a little over 90 degrees, but it's about 90. That's how you measure. I'd like you to try number three and number four and bring them to class tomorrow and we will look at those together and see how you did. I'd like to show you one other thing. When we have an opportunity to draw an angle for each measure, on number one, it says they want to measure, have you measure a 25 degree angle. So you're going to go ahead and take your angle ruler, go ahead with your tack, just go ahead and push it down on your paper. Make sure that you have the measure side of the angle ruler with a center line and you want to hold that so it doesn't move. And then you'll want to move your other arm until you come to about 25 try and match that line right up with it and then your next step would be that you hold both of those arms down you're going to go where they where the space is in between and that actually is a 25 degree angle whatever the angle is right here the angle also will be out here where the two arms come together where they join that would be your vertex and then you can remove those and you can put your rays at the end of the arrows on your rays and then you want to measure that that is a 25 degree angle. I'd like to show you one more thing. So that you know which angle you're actually measuring. The angle named A V B it's a counterclockwise turn from ray VA to ray VB. Again, it's counterclockwise. So you're going to go this opposite direction of what the clock is. The other angle named BVA is a counterclockwise turn from VB to ray VA. So if we were to look at this, the approximate measurement of AVB or BVA I would like you to measure those two and come tomorrow in class. We'll practice during class, or if you can go ahead and measure those, we will talk about what you got and how you did that. But this is really important that you understand what these arrows mean. Which direction do they go? They always go counterclockwise. Make sure that we're measuring either the small angle inside, this is where it begins, this is where it ends, or we're measuring the large angle, the outside angle. Here's where it begins and here's where it ends. Thank you, have fun measuring tonight, and we'll talk about it in class tomorrow.